I love short moments. I was just... Um, so I've been around this training for some years and, um, and I've taken a few short moments <laughs> in those years and a short moment is just as simple as just pausing all of that obsessive need to describe and understand and analyse and compare everything that's going on just for an instant and just allowing it to be however it is. And every time I do that, it's just like, wow, that's incredible. There's this overarching intelligence that's completely wide open, naturally present, and I can access it right here and right now, regardless of what's going on. And every time I do that, there's this sigh of relief. There's this capacity to see everything more and more clearly. There's this openness and this love that just gets more and more obvious. And the only way that I know that that's the case is because I've decided to test out the instruction that was given, that was short moments repeated many times until it becomes continuous or obvious at all times. So the introduction to open intelligence, just to stop thinking for a moment, we just give ourselves room to notice this intelligence. It's always there, it's always been there. So I can look back now and it's impossible for me to, to find any time in my life where there wasn't this open intelligence. All that happens through this training is that we get used to noticing it and begin to rely on this open intelligence to inform our actions and our speech and our behaviour one short moment at a time. So it's very simple, very gentle, very natural. And each short moment that we take simply aligns ourselves more and more with this wide open, beneficial reality. And the only way that that can be proved to be true or false is by you testing it for yourself and discovering what happens in these short moments and then repeating that recognition again and again whenever you naturally remember. And the short moments as uh, was shared is just one of the four mainstays. So the four mainstays are the support package or educational system of balanced view. We're simply re-educating ourselves in the nature of our intelligence, in the nature of mind. Because we've had a certain kind of intelligence as we were growing up. We learn to describe ourselves and the world in a particular way, using certain belief systems and ideas that were all adopted from other people. So in each short moment, we discover for ourselves what is the actual nature of reality. What is the actual nature of what's going on right here and right now? Is there any way that I can hold any thought in place? Is there any way that I can capture this here and now and somehow fix it? Are all of the descriptions naturally flowing on by? And when I just relax and I allow everything to be as it is for these short moments, then I begin to answer these questions for myself based on my own experience of what is actually going on cutting through the need to refer my experience to any belief system, to any idea about how anything has to be or hold the way that anything actually is. I become real with what's going on. Now what's interesting as we have this training in the nature of mind is that for many of us, and I include myself, I take one part of the training, perhaps short moments, and I just try and apply that on its own in my life. And for me the result of that was more and more insight into the nature of reality and into the nature of my intelligence, seeing the way that you know, everything was shining forth and was known by exactly the same intelligence. This was the one constant, so everything else was always changing. You know, my experience was never the same one moment to the next. I could never predict what was going to happen, but I began to see in myself that there was a constant 
and that constant wasn't any of the descriptions, even the descriptions about myself, because they were always changing. One moment I seemed to be this kind of person, and the next moment I seemed to be a completely different kind of person. But the constant was found to be the intelligence or the power to know by which all of these descriptions were known. And in each short moment, that became more and more obvious. But then, because we've been so thoroughly trained prior to coming to this training, training to utilize our intelligence or our minds in a particular way, and to try and pin down and create these frames of reference, we begin to do that again, except now it's with regard to education in the nature of mind. So, for example, um, the idea of being natural. So I hear in the training that as I become more familiar with open intelligence, then I become more natural. So now I have to work out what it means to be natural. And so there are these very subtle games of reification that we can take on without even knowing that that's what we're doing. And then we're acting in a certain way and the thought comes up, well, am I, am I being natural? Is this natural? You know, natural looks like this and I'm behaving like that. So that must mean that I'm not relying on open intelligence. And there are these quite subtle extreme positions that we can adopt. So we begin to see the nature of reality. We begin to see that all of the data, all of the descriptions, naturally self-release. There is no way that we can hold on to any set of descriptions. Each thought flows effortlessly and seamlessly into the next one. We can't actually say where one finishes and the next one begins. No, the reality begins to expand and open out into this completely spacious expanse. And then we can have a, another thought or another frame of reference that we create. Well, if that's the case, then nothing really matters. And if we adopt that extreme and that belief system and relate from there, then that is a very, very painful place from which to relate, both to our own data and in our relationships with other people. And this is why the four mainstays are emphasized. It's not the one mainstay or the two mainstays. It's all four mainstays. Because when you immerse yourself in all four mainstays, all of these extremes, subtle or overt, are actually recognized and outshone. We see that there is no need to create any descriptive frameworks about anything, including relying on open intelligence and education in the nature of mind. In each short moment, we cut through all of these descriptions at their root. Now, for me, at the beginning, that seemed quite a challenging thing when I began to think about it anyway. When I actually applied it, it was easy. What happens, though, and for me, this was no way that I could make sense of this using my conventional descriptions, is that when I stop describing, even for a short moment, then seemingly paradoxically, I could understand everything much more completely. I had been trained exactly the opposite way. I had been trained that if I wanted to understand things, then I needed to describe things more. I needed to have more experience, I needed to have more ideas, I needed to read more books, visit more sites on the internet, accumulate more knowledge, more experience, more concepts, under the belief that somehow this would allow me to understand what the hell was going on. So that's what I did. And the result of that was that things just got more and more complicated. It didn't allow me to become this wise, calm, loving being that I always knew was possible because I'd had glimpses of it throughout my life. So when I started to enjoy this Four Mainstays lifestyle and started to take the short moments to, and to apply them in my life, to participate in the written trainings, these powerful texts that just evoked this instinctive recognition again and again, I started to cultivate a relationship with a trainer, somebody that would again and again bring me back to the reality of what was, what was actually going on. 
that only saw me as open intelligence, that recognised this beneficial potency within me even when I didn't recognise it for myself, that wasn't fooled by any of my stories. When I began to spend time with the community, other people that were also making this commitment to rely on open intelligence, one short moment at a time, then I began to see, this is possible for me too. This is not just some far away dream that other people talk about or is other people's experience. This can be my lived reality too. And being around other people and seeing them demonstrate that and seeing the way that the community relates with complete openness and love and support in a completely uncontrived way. It's just amazing because it demonstrates what we are capable of as human beings and it comes about solely by each one of us taking responsibility for our data and making the choice to rely on the four mainstays for, for the support in that. So simple. So this complicated, difficult, challenging thing that I thought life was is actually revealed as being very, very simple. The nature of reality is always exactly the same. Open intelligence shining forth its beneficial data. Each short moment we get used to that reality. We live that reality when we immerse ourselves in the Four Mainstays. It comes about so gently, so naturally, so organically, because it's who we've always been, it's who we always are. So it's not difficult. Challenging data may come up during that transition and that's why we are all here supporting each other in this. And what we're doing here is so important. And really revolutionary. Challenging every assumption that has been made ever in the whole history of humanity. That's really incredible. That takes a huge amount of courage. And so I have so much respect and salute each one of you that makes that choice. Even if it's just for one short moment. That one short moment is so powerful. Because it shows you for yourself the nature of reality. Who you really are. And that experience, that recognition is so powerful and convincing that after a while you don't have any doubt. The openness, the love, the ability to relate with complete warmth and naturalness. Your speech becomes transformed and becomes obviously to be used of benef for, for benefit. And that comes about in a very easy way too. It's not something you have to think about or worry about or work out. You simply train up in open intelligence. Test it for yourself. See how your speech transforms. See how it changes naturally. I've been amazed. I'm constantly amazed. So thank you all so much for taking the time to be here and to, you know, to test out for yourself what is the nature of your mind. Are we these closed, narrow, isolated, lonely individuals? Or are we expansive and clear and completely wide open like a cloudless sky? 